In this video, we're going to talk about the boring but pretty important um, topic regarding privacy and data protection. Welcome to SharingYourPassion.com. I'm Chill, and my goal is to help you transform your passions into an online business. I will assist you with creating WordPress websites, online courses, email automation, membership sites, social media and how to make it work for you, sales and marketing, and more. Basically, you provide a passion and I provide assistance, and let's work to get your dream realized. Subscribe and click the notification bell to set your dreams in motion. So, governments are getting stricter with how businesses, online businesses, handle data. And um, the EU has passed the GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, which I guess, you know, tries to hold companies accountable for any data breach or misuse of private information of users of their website. So even if you don't live in the EU, even if your site is based in the US or North America or elsewhere, you are affected because the EU, as long as those people can visit your site, you're going to be also potentially in trouble if, if you ever misuse the data of your users. So even the United States does not have one blanket regulation, federal regulation for, for um, data and privacy, but there's different acts, the Privacy Act and others that uh, pertain to, to these matters. So eventually I bet the U.S. will adopt something similar as the US, uh, as the EU did and so anyway the important thing is we need a pri privacy policy page and even a disclaimer page so now we're not lawyers I'm not a lawyer but working with this um, plugin called Thrive Themes Architect this gives you a sort of a template to to just throw up your privacy and disclaimer pages which you can edit later down the line it's better to start off with one in the you know the early going you'd rather have one of these than not have it also because some services like google adsense will require a privacy page or even some facebook um, ads will will require that so it's pretty important so but there's a very easy way to do it um, especially if you're running off of the Thrive themes and we're going to use the the um, templates that they give us okay so let's go to our dashboard and go to Thrive dashboard it's actually in the theme and I use the rise theme from Thrive and just go up here to the menu item menu icon page templates and I already populated these fields website company name contact page and company address so to create these pages you just click here and here and it's gonna create the pages for you let's just generate those selected pages okay so let's check these the privacy policy let's click here okay so it gave us a template of you know like email policies uh, what we do with your information use of external links intellectual property rights and blah 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 and the contact information is down here you can contact me through my page my contact page or my address there you go we have a privacy policy page let's go let's try to go to that page right now privacy policy okay so this is the front end of what that privacy policy page looks like looks pretty neat to me and of course you can edit it um, to fit your situation let's check the disclaimer page let's 
Facebook pages. And disclaimer right here. So it's called disclaimer. I'll just type that in. Disclaimer. And this is it. This is the disclaimer page. Contact. So it's a shorter, much shorter uh, document. And not exactly sure what it says, what I'm disclaiming, but but um, I think we need this page as well. So there you go. We quickly created two of the legalese type pages that we need to operate an online business in today's world that we need for 2019. Then there's another step we need to go through. Go to the dashboard, settings, privacy. We had an old privacy policy page, which I did trash and created the new one, this one. So let's select that to be the current right there, privacy policy and use this page as our privacy policy. The privacy policy page setting updated successfully. Remember to update your menus. OK, now we're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If so, please like it and share it. My goal is to help people share their passion and build an online business using websites with membership features, online courses, and email automation or marketing automation. If you are interested in any of that, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of more upcoming videos. Thank you.